PCSK9 inhibitors explained in three minutes. Let's begin. PCSK9 inhibitors are a new type of monoclonal antibody medication used to treat high cholesterol. You may have been prescribed a PCSK9 inhibitor if you are unable to achieve a sufficiently low cholesterol level on your current medications, or if you are unable to tolerate other cholesterol-lowering medications. There are currently two types of PCSK9 inhibitors on the market, alirocumab, or its brand name Praliuent, and evolocumab, or its brand name Repava. Both medications have the option to be injected subcutaneously once every two weeks or once a month. They are usually quite expensive, but both companies may offer some sort of compassion program to help cover the costs if you meet their criteria. So how do PCSK9 inhibitors work? Well, LDL cholesterol, or low-density cholesterol, is the main type of cholesterol that is reduced by this drug. So LDL cholesterol is normally removed from the blood by the liver. LDL receptors on the liver bind to LDL cholesterol, and this allows the LDL cholesterol to be removed in the liver causing a reduction of LDL cholesterol in the blood. Now, PCSK9 is an enzyme in the body that helps regulate cholesterol levels. It normally binds to LDL receptors and tags them for degradation. With fewer LDL receptors, the liver cells can no longer remove as much LDL cholesterol from the blood. PCSK9 inhibitors are monoclonal antibodies that target the PCSK9 enzyme. By binding to this enzyme, PCSK9 is no longer able to bind to LDL receptors and cause their degradation. This allows the LDL receptors on the liver cells to remain active and to continue removing LDL cholesterol from the blood, and this causes a reduction in blood LDL cholesterol levels. Moving on to the side effects of PCSK9 inhibitors, as with any medication that requires injection, you might experience some redness, itching, or pain at the site of injection. Flu-like symptoms, such as sore throat, runny nose, and fever are also common. Nausea, diarrhea, fatigue may occur as well, and lastly, this medication may cause a rise in blood sugar 